During the simulated attack, the corpsman provided field medical care to those who were wounded. Once the town had been secured, the corpsman called in for a medical evacuation for any casualties. So at this point with their training, we're not so much instructing. Now we're kind of taking a step back that they're out here in the field and we're evaluating and we're observing how they operate inside an STP, a shock trauma platoon. So as a roll two, they're not running and gunning anymore. They're receiving patients from the front lines. And then from there, they're divvying out where do they go next? Do they go to a hospital? Do we need them to go to our surgery tent? Where to go next? That's our purpose here is to teach them the next higher echelon of medical care. The casualties were taken to the Ford Resuscitative Surgical System and Shock Trauma Platoon. These serve as a mobile hospital and are the military's highest echelon of medical care available closest to the front line. Uh, there's one entry, entry point, so they would come to the front, they would be searched by the Marines, they'll be triaged for where they're going to go within the system. They would start in the, in the ER in most cases. If it's uh, bad enough and the OR is available, they would go straight to the operating room. Sometimes if um, they don't need a lot of care and they're what we considered walking wounded, they may go to our holding area. After the conclusion of their field exercise, the corpsmen were evaluated on their proficiency and areas of improvement. Reporting from Central Training Area, Okinawa, Japan, I'm Lance Corporal, West Lucko.